Hi, my name is Song An, professor at Kachon University. This work on the monitoring the effects of doxorubicin on 3D spheroid tumor cells in real time was investigated in collaboration with Nam Yok Baek, Oh Won So, and Min Sung Kim from Nano and Tech, and Professor John Hume from Kachon University. This work was supported by Gyeonggi Regional Research Center grant and Nano and Tech. I will present the second research progress on real-time monitoring of anti-cancer drugs. Previously, we have published the effect of cisplatin on 3D Freud tumor cells. Here, we are presenting the results from Docs Robertson's studies. We record the real-time movies of entire experiments. Majority of the anti-cancer studies utilize the 2D cell culture models. Since the cancer cells would exist in 3D shape and interact with the surrounding with intercellular spaces, we decide to make the cells into 3D spheroid and observe the effect of doxorubicin in 3D setting. As previously reported, we selected 12 cell lines as shown in this slide. And here we investigate the toxicity of doxorubicin. Eight cell lines, as indicated with star, were selected for the further study. This slide presents the results of eight cell lines after five days of doxorubicin treatment. The concentration of doxorubicin were from 20 micromolar to 300 micromolar. Several spheroid grew well and the cytotoxic effects were observed. Darker colorations are due to the high concentration of doxorubicin. From here, five cell lines, embryonic kidney cells, neuroblastoma, adenosarcomic, alveolar vessel epithelial, cervical cancer, and osteosarcoma cell lines were selected for the further study in the anti-proliferation assay and their growths. The observable effect of doxorubicin on multiple spheroid cell lines were evaluated by real-time video recording and compared with ATP productions and their diameter size as indicated in the main paper. ATP production, growths in their diameter size, and the concentration of doxorubicin correlated well. This slide presents the comparison of doxorubicin IC50 values and effects over the incubation time. IC50 from 3D Freud were much higher than from the 2D setting. These varying sensitivities are most likely due to overexpression of BH3 interacting domain that's protein called BID. BID can sensitize certain cancer cell lines to apoptosis. Recently, it was reported that overexpression of BID can strongly sensitize HeLa cells. A549 and other cell lines to doxorubicin and that the extent of sensitization of particular cell lines by BID is specific for doxorubicin, which was not observed for trail or campotecan. The difference of doxorubicin sensitivities could also be due to the well-oxygenated 2D setting for the rapid buildup of reactive oxygen species. However, the opposite is true for the cells at the core of spheroid, which makes them more resistant. In conclusion, five human cell lines, cervical cancer, adenocarcinomic alveolar vasal epithelial, embryonic kidney cells, neuroblastoma, and osteosarcoma cell lines were selected for their ability in forming 3D spheroid. The cytotoxicity of doxorubicin against above five cell lines were monitored in real time for five days with Julie stage. The cellular morphological changes and the ATP metabolic responses of 3D Freud were recorded and measured. After the doxorubicin treatments, the growth of 3D Freud and ATP generation of the corresponding cells stop over time in concentration depending manner. Embryonic kidney cells were most resistant towards doxorubicin. On the other hand, neuroblastoma spheroid were most sensitive and noticeable upon administration of doxorubicin. And thank you for your listening.